Hey guys, Big Grizz here from Big Grizzly Gaming. Uh, doing another video today. We're going to look at a new deck. Uh, this is probably going to be super popular right out of the gate of set 5. It's your Amber Amethyst Hyper, High, Hyper Aggro. We've got a few new tools here. We'll go over the list that I put together that I've been practicing with. And then uh, we'll go into some gameplay just on Ink Table there. Which, if you've seen my other videos, is something that I highly recommend using. Uh, just to be able to practice your mulligans, practice your curve, your deck, just get to know it. Um, it obviously, it's AI and it, it doesn't make all, all, all the best decisions, but it uh, still is good practice if you're just at home or you're not able to get out to your locals pretty consistent. So the first new addition here is uh, Daisy Duck. You know, no, no surprise here, just an amazing card for the set. Uh, we're, that's our one drop. We're running with uh, Lilo. We're running four Chernabogs, four Magic Brooms for the card draw. Obviously, if we're running Lilo's, we're going to run the Maleficent Biding Her Time as well. Uh, Piglet. Going to run a couple Snakes, four Pinocchio Star Attractions, four Baloo, which is just a great card, right? Bodyguard, and then when it's banished, to get two lore off it as well. Uh, Donald Duck, he boosts it, has Bodyguard as well. A couple Dolores here. So if you get to a little bit later and, and the uh, opponent has a few other characters, you can get some card draw there too. Uh, we're going to run the goats, of course. A couple rabbits. I'm running four befuddles. And uh, that's kind of like if you're playing a, a, like a turn one Maleficent or a turn one Lilo and then they play like their Captain Hook turn one to counter your, your aggro. You, you want to be following up with a befuddle right away, right? So that way you can buy yourself another turn and... Really, like four or five turns is all you should need with this deck if you get the right curve. Uh, four Amethyst Chromacons. Obviously, if you start to burn out or they get like a nice early shift and they able to clear your board with like a grab your swords or something, Chromacon can help you draw into your uh, into some answers. And because we're playing so low to the ground here, if you have multiple cards in hand, you should be able to play multiple cards a turn. Uh, three library, three king, queen's castle. You can change up these numbers, six locations. Um, I really wouldn't even be opposed to cutting out two of the chromacons and going up to four and four. Uh, just because if they're trying to deal with all of your stuff, it's it's kind of hard to deal with all of your questing characters and your locations at the same time. We'll just go to ink table here. So <sighs> we'll go right up against my uh, sapphire steel deck that I did the other video on. We'll see how we do here. All right, so I see the Maleficent lots of one drops, couple castles. No real two drops here. I'll ditch one castle. Yeah, my voice is a little off. I'm still pretty sick here. So they inked into nothing cool. So Chernobogs. And we should have actually played a Daisy Duck. Probably, but that might not matter. <laughs> We're not going to quest into the Smee. <coughs> That's where, if we would have played the Daisy Duck, there it would have been a better play. that Zert Donald Daisy best for three now gives the opponent a Cogsworth another baboon sapphire steel deck I feel like is a pretty good deck too it's it's not should be able to deal with us Got a castle and a double quest here. I'll give him a fossa. Can't move anything to the castle yet. There's the grab your swords, but that doesn't finish everything off. 
That's where the AI should be a mistake. If I were the AI, I would have went into the daisy there. <coughs> Opponent's going into six right now. Could have a Tinker Bell. We do this. We're up to 13 already by turn four. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got a game on board. Right? We don't even have to do anything right now. There you go. Turn turn five for us. Oh, rough. Rough hand. We'll go into like uh we'll go into Amber Steel songs here. Holy one drops. Get punished here, we'll see. Play Maleficent. Won't west in that yet. We'll wait till we get our bodyguard down. Hopefully we draw an inkable or we're in trouble. Not. So I think well, we got we got a quest because we can't let the opponent get up to their songs. <clears throat> Okay, let's exert the blue. Quest will go to nine. <coughs> Opponent kills the blue. We'll get two lore off that. They shouldn't be able to race us either. <coughs> we have three, four, five on board right now. 18. We'll bounce the piglet. Challenge for fun there. Definitely didn't need to. West out. another one we'll see uh, maybe we'll see ruby sapphire ruby amethyst probably ruby amethyst you see a lot this is ruby amethyst i actually made changes to this deck for the hypo aggro matchup with the gastons and things like that
see if we can maybe get a blue down here. to the good answer for blue. Damage to draw a card. Sure. And obviously we're just racing. Try and get it. Get up as high as we can before they hit seven ink. Maybe we should have done the bodyguard there. You have to assume that they have. Rod takes care of We can draw an extra card here by doing this. Just hope they don't have the bee prep. It's done. Top deck mode now. Yeah, see, I don't think I would have done that if I were the opponent. That they can answer everything here. We get a goat. Don't get a goat. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so opponent has this one. It's not bad. I mean, just made changes to that deck, too. I know the Rafikis, too. Dealt with us pretty good. We're going to rematch this game, though, I think. That was pretty close. All right.
Lilo. Lilo, Piglet, Donald. We'll play the Donald on turn three before we quest, I think. Oh, they had the brawl. Rough. It. Slower start here because we want to kind of play a little defensive. That. We have three, six, seven, eight, nine more on board right now. We can sneak in another round. <coughs> I'm all going to rabbit so they didn't have a brawl or a Maui there. That's it. Save this goat. Okay, so they have to answer pretty much everything here. Oh, I mean, that was a good attempt. Right, because this goat is what saved us. All right, so let's try a ruby sapphire. This will be our last one that we give a shot here. This hopefully gives you an idea if you want to play hyper aggro, kind of what you should be looking for, in my opinion, anyway. Pass. Actually, do wait, and we'll do Donald next. Quest for seven. Four, seven. Piglet, I guess.
Remember this blue? They have to challenge into it. Will get us two lower, puts it as 18. Ooh, nice, the Sisu. They pretty much have to answer everything right now. Don't want to draw them into stuff right now. Wait till our turn. Okay. They didn't have an answer. 21. Uh, you know what? So they did. They could have double shifted their Sisu on to stay alive another turn. Because they can. Sh you can shift the uh, Floodborne on top of the other Floodborne. That would be a misplay by them for sure. They could have done that. I mean, not that it would matter because it looks like we had a goat coming in there anyway. Yeah, hopefully that gives you guys an idea of, of what kind of deck you should be looking at if you're going to play Amber Amethyst Hyper Aggro. Um, not my favorite deck, but I think people will see it. It's pretty straightforward. You just play as much stuff as you can, quest as fast as you can. Very little interaction with the opponent other than maybe your befuddles. And then just timing when you want to play your big questers and your bodyguards. And just watching what the other opponent's playing and, and how many ink they're on for be prepared to grab your swords and those that kind of thing. Uh, so stay, stay tuned for the next video, guys. Hopefully have it out by the uh, end of the week.